Hey everybody, this is Jackie, and as you probably suspect, I have something that I really want to share with you. Something was on my heart, and it involves my dad and some advice that he has recently given me, I would say in the last six months of my life. It pertains to dating, okay? So I called my dad, and I don't often talk to him about dating and seek his advice. However, there's somebody in my life that my dad actually knows who has been in my life for over 20 years, right? And this person has always been around my family, expressed very serious emotions and feelings towards me on and off for a period of 20 years. A lot of you women out there understand what that feels like because a lot of us have someone who is in our life um, who has been there for a long time and maybe we suspect they have strong feelings towards us and they haven't told us or they have told us and we've been putting them on the back burner for whatever reason, right? So this is a situation where somebody from my childhood uh, reached out to me and basically confessed all these heavy emotions and the interest in wanting to pursue something serious. So I called my dad and I said, hey, this person reached out to me. I believe he's serious this time. I really don't know what to do with this information. What do I do at this point? Not knowing what direction to turn. And my dad told me, Jackie, you need to figure out whether or not this person has fantasized about you and created a fantasy in their head of you for the past, I don't know how many years, or if they are really serious about knowing you well enough beyond a fantasy to want to pursue a serious relationship. And you know, that really stuck with me, right? Because oftentimes we fantasize about who people are when we get into relationships, when we start dating them, and we are dating our fantasy. <laughs> you have made this person uh, into a fantasy in your head and you are dating the fantasy. And at some point, this person might realize you are not who they fantasized about and they may start to pull back. So my dad's advice to me was take your time and watch their habits and their behaviors long enough to gather information on whether you are a fantasy that they are creating in their head or if who you are is who they really want to be with. So. I hope that helps somebody, men and female alike, we all tend to do this. We, as human beings, want to be loved, we want to be cared for, we wanna give that in return. Um, and it's hard out here, it's hard to put your feelings aside and really observe someone without acting off your emotions. So I appreciate my dad for telling me that. Um, I have since given that person seven days since they confessed these things. And within seven days, he completely fell off the face of the earth. And I have not spoken to him for over two months. So my dad was right. There was a fantasy there. He projected that. He wasn't able to follow through with the pursuit and life happens. So I hope this helps someone. Um, I'm definitely taking it forward in every situation I get into and just want to make sure I observe somebody long enough to figure out, am I just a fantasy to this person or are they really interested in me and, and knowing and being with me? So, all right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.